not even be existing right now. I mean, it would have such major effects. Could you imagine if we could go back and see what the past was? Maybe could we change it? Hmm. Well, I, I think one of the worrisome aspects of something like that would be the ability, well, the, the inability for anybody to keep any secrets any longer. Uh, because you could go back and get the dirt on anybody uh, at any time. And, and uh, <laughs> I mean, what kind of, you know, disaster, massive disaster would something like that have uh, on, uh, on society? Uh, even the smallest secrets, if somebody wanted to find out, if they had a device like this, you know, you could uncover it. And, and like you said, um, you know, our, our major religions are based on faith. And if you were able to go back into the past and prove beyond the shadow of a doubt that, uh, that your faith was completely unfounded, uh, I mean that's that it, the world would be on fire from from the people who just would refuse to believe that uh, their their long cherished religious beliefs were nothing more than fairy tales. Well, yeah, I hate to say that. Could they be nothing more than fairy tales? <laughs> Think about it. I mean, I've yeah. said this before, and I got heat for it. So don't agree with me, please. <laughs> but mankind have always needed something to believe in. They had to. I mean, be it the fire god, the god of the the moon, the god of the mountain, you name it. They had to believe in something. They had to have a belief in something to keep going on. Because if you took that away from man, especially at the early stages of a human, uh, society of what they had would have collapsed. So if if all of a sudden we found out that there was no Jesus or Jesus wasn't who we thought there was he was right or God as we think God is is not what it is it would change how everybody would think it it'd be really scary you know somebody i heard uh i can't think of his name he was a guest on another show claimed that Jesus was not the son of god that he was just an ordinary person that uh, shared the beliefs that he thought, you know, that we are all equal and stuff like that. I wonder how much flack that guy got. Hmm. Well, you take into consideration um, the differences, the major differences between current uh, uh, beliefs in Christianity on uh, the the Messiah and, and his in his place with the original um, Hebrew conception of the Messiah. Uh, I mean, you know, it, 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 how the Messiah was considered back, say, like in uh, um, uh, Israel in, in the time in Jesus's time was more like a uh, like a warrior. Uh, God's chosen uh, warrior. And in fact, the, the term "son of God" was actually applied to a number of, of different um, pious people. It, it didn't actually mean that this was literally the Son of God. This was just somebody who, you know, was doing God's uh, work. Uh, but because of, 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 of um, um, Paul. Uh, the uh, Goyim, <laughs> uh, you know, came in and uh, kind of changed things around to uh, 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 fit in better with a larger crowd uh, rather than the, uh, the the people of Israel. Then the whole concept of, of the Messiah was completely changed. So if you had the ability to go into the past, like you said, and to see how these things actually developed. You know, it, it it could almost be like uh, that uh, that Monty Python movie, The Life of Brian, that uh, the the person that we think of as Jesus nowadays was somebody completely different. <laughs> you know, just some poor schlub who uh, accidentally ended up uh, uh, on the wrong hands of the law and uh, put up on a uh, on a crucifix 
and then you know the story just just grew around him but even if you had that kind of proof how many people would accept it you know, it's it's i mean you you look at right now the the problems with the uh, uh, the acceptance of climate change and how it's become so political politicized that that you have people I mean, that I mean, it's like, oh well, these are scientists saying this. You can't trust scientists, you know. So if you get something as as uh, um, polarizing as religion and coming up with uh, uh, alleged proofs through time machines that what you actually believe in was nothing of the sort. Then I mean, yeah, <laughs> you know, you consider and consider the problems that we have now with various uh, religious fra- you know, factions on this planet. You know, just think how it would be if these long cherished beliefs were uh, uh, shown to be completely false. Well, I would think some of the religions would not endorse us being able to go forward or backward in time, especially backward in time, because I think they have a lot to maybe hide. I don't know. But I, I think they would be scared for, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, um, uh, there, there probably would be um, all types of, of, of attempts and probably successful attempts to pass laws to prevent this kind of information from uh, being sourced and then uh, distributed. You look at the controversy that happened about 10 years ago uh, when the suggestion that uh, uh, we w- we were able to uh, create human clones, that it uh, was no longer that difficult, and you had uh, uh, members of Congress, you know, uh, trying to pass laws, uh, and I think successful, if, if my memory serves me, to to prevent that from happening. You know, and unfortunately, the reasons that uh, uh, a lot of these uh, politicians were given on why this shouldn't be done really seemed to stem from their understanding of science seemed to be based on, say, like Star Trek episodes. Yeah. It wasn't ground, they weren't grounded in reality. They seemed to think that you could clone people that would be exactly like the original uh, uh, person that was being cloned and just really idiotic things like that. But... That is the things that we are going to be faced with if technology actually does come forward and say that, yeah, time travel is real, here's how you do it, we're going to go in the past and, and find out whether or not you know, the UFO did crash at Roswell or whether or not uh, you know, Jesus did die on the cross or, or what have you. Yeah, and I I think that would be scary, and I don't think there's certain groups out there who would want us to really know. I think they they know. I, I really think they know what happened, and they just don't want the population to know. But you know, I, technology scares me. Not just time travel. I was reading here about pigs that they are actually taking dead pigs that have been dead and bringing back brain function. So I mean, our technology is moving so far that way. I do think, I do think there is such thing as time travel. I I do think maybe that we have been visited with time travelers. I do think that some of the scientists claim you can't go back in time. You can only go forward. I don't know how they can come up with the, the, they're saying you can't go back in time. I know they have their math. They, They say this is impossible. But then I've heard other scientists, some of the top scientists out there say it is possible if you can go forward, you can go backward. Well, and that's uh, that's that's the problem right now. You know, when it comes to to physics, I mean, there's uh, there has been really a lot of change uh, since the 1930s in physics. But then again, we're getting glimpses of uh, uh, of possibilities of of the new physics. Uh, the you know string theory, even though that's been around for quite a while, right now it's impossible to prove. Uh, and, and you know that that opens up you know all kinds of of 
different uh, uh, ideas on, on the nature of, uh, of reality. And from that, there's some other uh, new ideas of, of, of physics and, uh, and how the universe uh, works that, that's coming out that uh, you know it, it is going to consume uh, scientists for the next uh, 200 years probably. So um, we're going to see some, some really, I think, major jumps in the understanding of the nature of time and space and the universe. Um, uh, whether or not within our lifetime, probably not. We may start to see you know, these, uh, these glimpses, kind of like uh, uh, people were starting to see the glimpses of uh, uh, electricity and, and, and its uh, development and transmission you know, back in the uh, uh, early 1900s. So right now we are on that, that, that edge, that, that cliff, looking into that valley on uh, what's coming up in the near future that are, you know, maybe our children, but probably definitely our children's children, are, are going to see things that would just, uh, I, I mean, we just have no conception on uh, uh, what's going to be learned and what's going to be you know, understood when it comes to the whole nature of reality. Oh, yeah. Do, are we even here? Are we nothing more than a r- auto rhythm or whatever it is on a computer chip? I I have no idea. That's, you know, you hear all these different theories. Are we a hologram being sent out from another solar system down to wherever we're at? And we're not even functional. We're not even humans. We're not even living. We're a civilization. I don't know. It, 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 there's a lot of theories out there. Well, just uh, just always remember that uh, everything that you see around you, everything that you perceive, is being filtered uh, by your brain. You're not getting. Uh, you're you're just seeing a simulation uh, of reality as produced by your brain. So who knows what may actually be going on uh, that we can't perceive because our brain is either incapable of of perceiving reality as it actually is or is deliberately filtering uh, uh, reality just so we can survive. You know, because, I mean, face it, we, we evolved to uh, not be eaten by the saber-toothed tigers and to uh, uh, catch other stuff to be eaten. And that's basically where we still are, <laughs> you know, in, in evolution. I don't know. Do you believe, honestly, Tim, that we can go back in time or go in the future. Now, I'm going to leave it as this. Uh, it's about ready to t- another break. <laughs> I hate breaks. But are you willing to hang around for about another half an hour? Sure, no problem. Okay, I'll let you think about that. And then let's talk about your, your book about time travel when you come back. And I come back. All right. Sounds good. Okay, you're listening to Night Dreams Talk Radio. After dark, check out our website at www.nightdreamstalkradio.com. Now, we fix the live player on the website, so you don't have to scroll down to the bottom of the website to hit the player to listen to the show. You can just hit Listen Live, and that'll take you right on to all our shows. And when we go live at 6 p.m. Pacific West Coast time, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, it is live. So you can listen there. You can listen to all, like, Apple Pod, all those different apps out there. You can certainly listen to us in San Diego, uh, Bakersfield, California, Moscow, Idaho, and a bunch of other stations that carry our show. We'll be back in two minutes. You're listening to me, Gary, on Night Dreams Talk Radio. of religious texts which have their own agenda their lies a silver thread of truth mixed in with propaganda be careful what you say to those with whom you'll be at 